What's good, Eagles fans? This is your boy, Tone DeShields II, and you guys are locked in on your dose of Chalk It Up, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just gotta charge it to the game. If you guys are new to my content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you guys have been loyal to the channel, loyal to the soil from the very beginning, you already know where my heart is. You know how we get down here at Chalk It Up. In addition, make sure you guys please go check out the Chalk It Up merch shop as well. The links are available down below in the description if you wanna support me and the channel. But without further ado, let's hop right into the content. So the Philadelphia Eagles running back room has just gotten smaller. Kerryon Johnson was cut from the Philadelphia Eagles after suffering a knee injury. Now, it's unfortunate. He didn't go out on his own merit. He went out because his body failed him. And that really sucks. You think about why he didn't get re-signed in Detroit. You think about the type of injury he suffered from while he was in Detroit. And it's just, it's just a sad thing that a guy just really can't stay healthy. You know, the same goes for Andre Dillard, like I mentioned prior. It's sad when guys just can't stay healthy, especially when it's something like your knees and you're a running back and you're so early in your career. Kerryon Johnson is not even 30, I don't believe. He hasn't been in this league for longer than, I don't think, five or six seasons. And he already is dealing with significant knee, pro knee problems. And the Philadelphia Eagles at this point don't really have the patience or the time to deal with running backs who have, who have significant injuries like the knees. Uh, but moving on from Kerryon Johnson, when you think about the running back room in general, it's a foregone conclusion, in my opinion, who's going to be the four running backs to make the roster if we keep four running backs on the 53-man roster. But if we do keep four running backs on this roster, I believe it's going to obviously be Sanders, Boston Scott, Jordan Howard and Kenny Gainwell. Now, Jordan Howard and Kenny Gainwell, so far in the preseason, have shown and proven their worth. Jordan Howard, as a matter of fact, is showing that he's a willing and able blocker in the passing game. He picked up a very, very important block on a third down that allowed Jalen Hurts to, to deliver the ball to the tight end. I believe it was Dallas Goddard or Zach Hurts, one or the other. But Jordan Howard has shown, has shown that he's willing to do the dirty work to keep a spot on his roster. You just saw... You saw it by how violent that block was. And then you think about Kenny Gainwell, who's been used in multiple ways so far in the preseason. He's been, he's been running the ball, and he's also been catching the ball as well. So they're really trying to see just how valuable, just how versatile this guy can be. And he's already showing that. His hands have been tremendous, and I think that's something he really, he can really, really hang his hat on. And then Boston Scott, he has the luxury of having pedigree or having a uh, history with this team and also being productive as well. And then obviously, uh, Miles Sanders, he's our starting running back. Um, Miles Sanders has been trending downward in the passing game um, when it comes to uh, his hands. He hasn't really been catching the balls that have coming his way. He's been dropping easy catches, wide open catches at that. And that's something he had trouble with the, in the previous season. So if Miles Sanders is going to take that next step, especially with earning more snaps and being more so a bell cow back, which I doubt that's what he's going to be because of the 17-game season. You're going to need multiple running backs during a season like this. But if he's going to take that next step as a running back, he needs to get his hands together. He can't He can't keep dropping passes. And my thing is, if you're dropping passes like that, what's stopping you from fumbling the ball um, every now and again? And he has and he fumbled the ball like a few times last season, so he needs to clean up his hands. He needs, he need, he needs to get those he, – he needs to get rid of those alligator arms and really extend those hands and bring the ball in. Um – but again, like I mentioned, having these four guys on the roster really gives Nick Sirianni versatility uh, when it comes to scheming for various situations. I like this combination. Think about it like this. You have Jordan Howard for those short yardage goal line situations. Then you have Kenny Gainwell, Boston Scott for the running back passing attack. And then you got Miles Sanders for those zone run schemes. And he also has shown to be able to run in between the tackles. Then you got Jordan Howard who can also run in between the tackles as well. You just got guys that can give you different looks, that can provide you different levels of service. And I think that's a really important aspect in this running back room that's going to allow us to be successful. Nick Seriani is going to run the ball a lot. He's going to utilize his running backs a lot. And I think this is a great position for us to be in, especially if these guys are going to be the top four running backs to make the 53-man roster. And that's if we keep four running backs on this 53-man roster. But again, it's unfortunate that Kerryon Johnson had to suffer the way he has. He's dealing with that. He's dealing with those knee issues that have plagued him for most of his career. After tearing his ACL, he hasn't been the same running back. And he, the, right now, the knee is appearing to be shaky. And the Philadelphia Eagles 
clearly um, are willing to be patient with him. So they most so they had to move on from him, and it's completely understandable on their on their part. But it's just unfortunate on his part as well. But nonetheless, it is what it is. We got to move on. We got to. You know, we got, we, got, we got to cut this roster down to 53, and the cream has to rise to the top, but it's straight like that. I'm your humble host, Tone DeShields II. And you guys have been locked in on your dosha chalk it up. We're no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. One love, stay humble, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry. The flag was clogged.